Hello children. So again I am here with G Science. Chapter 4. Nesting Habits. In part 1 we have learned till Woodpecker. And in part 2 today we will start from Sparrow and Pigeon. So what are the things we will study today? Let's see first. So, we will study, first we will nesting habits of remaining birds and parental care, how birds fly and feathers of bird. Okay? So, now all of you see here, we can find sparrow and pigeon in a garden, country yard as they make their nest in a places where people live on branches of tree or at safe place where do they make their nest on the trees gardens and houses so what do they use to make their nest so they use dry grass what they use dry grass twigs and leaves so with the help of these they can able to make their nest okay so now we will know about penguin you know penguin live in very cold places they also make their nest so, do you know how they make their nest? So, they just collect pebbles and stone on the ground to make their nest. So, penguin do not get leaves or twigs to make their nest. So, what they use? They use only stones and Pebbles and on the ground they make their nest. Now see here picture also. Where their nest is? On the ground. Okay. So now let's talk about the bird which is so lazy. And that it never built its own nest. You know its name. So its name is. Cuckoo. All of you see here. What is the name? Its name is Cuckoo Bird. She doesn't take the trouble to build her own nest. So now you must be thinking. Then where does it lay its eggs? Well, it looks for a nest with egg which like its own egg. So it goes to crow's nest and when the mother is away she breaks few of the crow egg and plays her own egg. So now see this pic. So when the mother is away they keep the egg and Remove one egg and place their own egg. See how she is throwing the egg. The crows never realizing what the quail has done. Looks after the baby quail just like their own. So now you have understood how cuckoo is so clever. And lazy also. Okay. So now test yourself. Now all of you see carefully. Which bird am I? I enter my nest through an opening at the lower end. So which bird am I? It's weaver bird. Now see this nest. So, where is the opening? From the lower end. Okay. So, what you will write here? 
weaver bird. Okay. So now next, I make my nest by stitching two leaves with a thread. So which bird am I? Now if you take a look here. So which bird? Tailor bird. So what you will write here? Tailor bird. So now next, I use stones and pebbles to make my nest. Just now I taught which bird? Penguin. So penguin used pebbles and stones. Okay, penguin. So now next, my nest is just like a shallow cup. So which bird? All of you see here? Which bird nest like shallow cup? Vulture and hawk. Okay, so what is the answer? Vulture and hawk. Now next, to lay eggs, I make a hole in the tree trunk with my beak. So which bird I am talking about? So woodpecker. Okay, so what you will write here? Woodpecker. So what you will write here? Woodpecker. Now this is completed. Now come to next parental care. The nest is ready. The mother bird lay eggs in it. Both parents sit on the eggs in turn to keep them warm. This is called incubations. Once the eggs are hatched, the babies come out of the eggs. They are very weak. So now let's learn about how the birds grow in the egg. Now if you see here, inside the egg, the bird slowly begins to form. As the chicks get ready to hatch, the babies come out of the eggs. So after coming out of the eggs, they are very weak. They do not have feathers. They cannot even open their eyes. The mother bird and the father bird go out in search of food. So they feed their young ones till they grow their own feathers. They teach their young ones to fly. So once the young one learn to fly, they leave their nest and fly away to distant places. The parents protect them from enemies like cats and snakes. The parents also clean the nest and keep it cozy for their young ones. So now... How will you feel if someone destroy your house? Naturally, you will feel bad. So, please do not destroy a bird nest. 